when I started working venture capital, I was always kind of passionate about education personally. And so I said, okay, I'm going to go out and invest in education companies. And I couldn't find anybody doing anything interesting in education. But I met this one guy that was teaching people and getting them jobs. And I was, it, it blew my mind. It solved so many problems. And I said, you have to start a school. I will invest in it. And I was trying to convince him to do it. And he thought I was crazy to the point where I said, you know what? Like, this is too big of an opportunity. This is the thing I'm passionate about. If you're not going to do it, I, I will quit my job and do it with you. Most companies and entrepreneurs have founding stories of a similar flavor, which is there's a real reason I'm connected to this, and there's a real reason this moves me. To be honest, that's one of the things that VCs look for mm -hmm. in, uh, uh, in companies. You know, VCs like to say that they have... Um, you know, these niches, like we're an expert at community marketplaces, or we're an expert at social mobile, whatever. It's kind of nonsense, right? At the end of the day, they're just looking for the best deals. So it's like, if this is going to be a rocket ship, I don't care what industry it's in, I want to put money in. They're all looking for the same thing. In order, great team, big market, great products, and reasonable deal terms. And if you just have the first one, a great team, you don't need the rest of the three. If you have a you know, a pretty good team and a, and a gr giant market, then you don't need the other two. That's a, the order of importance. And what, what makes a great team, what makes a great founder? I'm pretty sure it's three things. From what I've seen in venture capital, it's they're looking for people that are smart, ambitious and relevant. So smart means however you define smart. People have different ways of defining smart. Some VCs will look at pedigree. Some will look at, you know, past before, whatever, smart. Ambitious is what we talked about before, is that they want you to swing for the fences. They're not satisfied with a $50 million exit. That third thing is relevant, which is there's a lot of smart and ambitious people going after the same market with a similar product idea. Why are you going to win? How are you relevant to it? Why, why does this problem speak to you? Because at the end of the day, when it's that hard, if you're tied to the industry, you might have some unique insight but that goes away pretty fast. So I was passionate about education, so I, I studied the industry. Other people could study the industry. But it's really about like that, that connection that's going to keep you motivated and keep you going when it gets as hard as they know that it gets.